Hello, Facebook. Hello. So I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about it being October. And so I love this time of year. It's really awesome. I know a lot of you guys do too. It's like fall witchy vibes. Um, but this time of the year, uh, we get closer to the Halloween and Halloween is when, um, in the physical world, the, the veil between the spiritual world and the physical world gets really, really thin and Halloween, it's like basically non-existent. So, um, that means that everyone's going to be a little bit more sensitive to, um, things that are going on because you're more, uh, you're, you're able to see that spirit realm, uh, in what it looks like and what it entails. So you can expect your intuition to be very, very heightened. You can expect your, um, like guides and messages to come in full force at this time because that, that veil is a lot thinner and, for those of you that are extremely sensitive, those of you that are empaths or conduits, you become like hypersensitive. So you really got to watch out for the content that you consume, the people that you come in contact with, and especially um, the, the, the thoughts that you're telling yourself, because as well as that could be good of, you know, being connected to the spirit realm, it can also mean that you need more protection against like the negative, um, negative sites or like aspects of the spirit realm. So if you need a little help with that, you can, um, wear essential oil on guard or pedigree, and that's going to, uh, increase your boundaries. So I like to think of like our boundaries or our aura is like a bubble that's around each and every person. And those, the more protection that you have, like the thicker that invisible um, boundary slash little bubble is thicker and things can't penetrate and get into your own energy field as easily. And so those of you who are very sensitive, just make sure that you are working on your protection and your boundaries right now. Um, there's a lot of other things that you can do to help absorb those negative energies. Um, like you could use charcoal around your house. You want to put it in a little bowl and put it somewhere that is not as trafficked in your house. Like, you know, maybe like the laundry room or the, or maybe not the basement unless you go down there a lot. Um, but somewhere that's not as high traffic, you can put a, a bowl of charcoal and that's going to absorb, um, the negative energies that, uh, are especially coming through at this time. You could also... Um, wear black tourmaline or onyx. Those are going to help give you uh, more protection around this time of year. Um, so on top of protection, you know, like I said, just make sure you're being careful with the content that you consume, like the movies. I know a lot of people love watching scary movies right now, um, but just make sure that your energy and your aura is well protected before you start consuming those things. Um, because it's just a lot easier for those spirits and entities to get into your field. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, it's a good time of year though. Like I said, your intuition is a lot more heightened and um, you can expect to be uh, in more contact with your guides. So this can also be used as a good thing. You know, not just negative, but positive as well. So you a lot of downloads, making sure you're taking time to journal. Um, and really receiving in those messages, like taking time to meditate and become still so you can receive those messages because it's also a really good time. You can get a lot of, of really good um, messages coming through. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, happy October. It's a great time of year. I love fall vibes. You know, pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a good October and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Namaste.